camera is not focusing. Hello. So me and Celine are at this vintage market. We already bought stuff. We'll call it later. <laughs> yeah, but it's huge. There's even an upstairs. But we're gonna have some fun filming today. So yeah, we're just shopping right now. <laughs> Okay, so we're looking at acrylic rings right now, but she has one that is so cute. This one. I think I'm gonna get it. I like this orange one too. Ooh, that orange one's cute. This reminds me of a carnelian ring, but I want a real one. Hey, we're going upstairs now. This is the second floor. So we just passed a few like cool stores and stuff. I don't really know what I'm looking for. I honestly came here with an open mind. But first off, can I take this? <laughs> Can I? <laughs> hey guys, so this is my cousin Celine. You guys saw her in one of my vlogs. We're gonna haul. First of all, this is my favorite thing. Uh, it looks like nothing. <laughs> I got this little bag, and I think it's just gonna be I so, think it's so cute. cute. It was five dollars. I don't even know. Like, what would you even put in it, though? Nothing. Cause, Cause like it would, everything would just fall out. <laughs> it's just a statement. But I'm never gonna wear anything in it. I'm just gonna bring it along, shove it in another purse, and then take a picture with it. You know? Okay. What did you get? Oh, I got this ring. Oh yeah. I forgot I got this. It's so cute. It was five bucks. Like <laughs> five bucks. Five bucks. I don't know. Is that worth it? <laughs> I don't know. This is a pearl bracelet, and it's so cute. And I was like, I can't even just skip it on this one because it's, it's so, so cute. cute. There was so much jewelry. Hell yeah. Plus the people there were really nice. Yeah, they were really nice. Yeah. I bumped into one girl earlier. What? Yeah, when I was getting the jeans, I bumped into one of the girls because I moved back to see how long it was. Mm -hmm. And I like moved back into her, and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. And then she just looked at me with a dirty look, and I was mm. there, like. You're not gonna say it's okay. I'm so sorry. For How rude. Here. So, so we both got <laughs> quarter our pants. For real. <laughs> um, got these purple ones. I got these brown ones. I've been searching for brown ones for so long. They're so cute. And then I got this pink laundry. Oh my god, that is so bad in the camera. Okay, it looks like this. It's a size large, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna stick an elastic in it so that it'll fit like mm -hmm. right here. We could go to the mall, but I just went to the mall like two days ago and I didn't find it. I just went to the mall yesterday. There was nothing though. I was so sad. Really? Oh, I was like, damn. Because like I'm trying to find stuff to wear to little TJ. I don't have an outfit yet either. Okay, first of all, I'm just here like, why did she do it so Dude, loose? facts. Wait, mine is like stuck to my flannel. Okay, but look. Mine is like the <laughs> Why is she I don't know why she did it like that. Okay. Like, look at the way she freaking did it. Yeah, I was jaggedy. <laughs> I was like trying to make her do it tighter, but she wouldn't. Did she just want us to like <laughs> take off? You know? Like, what the fuck? So big. I can't even do that. So I got up this morning at around like 9:45 a.m. and I was just chilling, um, just like chatting with people in the morning and talking to my mom about my day yesterday. So yesterday we went to the vintage market, as you guys could see. We went to this vintage market that was planned in Minneapolis, and honestly, it was pretty cool. It was like really fun. There was a lot of people who came. Um, it was a small vintage market. There was like a lot of people who came. We also went to the mall and hung out at the mall. We actually had the sweetest people come up to us yesterday. This one girl she had no idea who i was at all which i'm so happy about i get so happy when people who don't know who i am who just like start a random conversation with me and she was the sweetest girl ever i was talking about like these brandy pants that i have they're my khaki low-rise like pants that i've been wearing recently they're my favorite jeans right now talking to my cousin i was like oh like i really wish like they had these in like just like a regular denim because like i would definitely get them you know this girl she like pops up into our conversation and she's just like yeah they actually do like it's online okay brb my camera is dying my camera is dying okay i'm gonna go and get my other battery so yeah this girl she comes up to me she's like yeah like the regular denim ones are actually online and i was like oh i did not know that i basically told her i was like i wish that they had them in store because i would love to try them on just to see if they actually fit because i feel like obviously brandy is like one size only but not only that but their sizing is not consistent with their stuff like at all like sometimes it's too big or too small or like it's just like it doesn't make any sense being one size regardless Regardless. Sometimes your one size is a large. Sometimes your one size is an extra small. Sometimes your one size is a medium. Like I'm just, I'm very confused here. She's talking to me how like she just tried on a certain like 
sweater and how it was so big but she has it in other designs and like she was like hella cool and so i was just like oh like you're so sweet like coming up to us and everything like just to come talk and have a conversation you know like we were just like random people in the store at paxson in the brandy melville section and she was just like no like you guys are so sweet and you guys are also like so pretty and i was like thank you so much and like we we're just like all talking and like we were joking and like she was just so funny i loved her vibe oh my god like i like this girl like she's so sweet and then she's just like you know i don't need to ask her any b and like she i could tell like she was like joking it was it was really cute she's like but you guys have like an instagram or anything we're talking about how there was like no like reception inside the mall and for some reason there's always no reception inside the freaking goddamn mall don't know why you guys know i'm always freaking there this is my second time being there that week her and her friend were looking at my instagram she's just like oh my god like you're so pretty like you're really pretty and i was like thank you so much it was so nice meeting you guys and yeah like we kind of just went off with our day after that but her name is maya she's so sweet and now we follow each other on instagram so maya if you're watching this um maybe we can hang out with your friend <laughs> i went to the fitting rooms to go and try on this cute playboy hoodie i like try it on and then i come out and then i show my cousin and then we're just like mm. Like we both knew something was off about the sweater, right? So we're like, and eh. so I was like, no, like I'm not getting it because like we both know that there's something off. So this girl comes up to her and she's like, oh, like is that your friend? Like is that Char? And she was just like, oh yeah, like yeah, that's Char. And then she was telling like one of her friends from out of state that like I actually do live in Minnesota and like she wanted to show her friend that like you know I was just like at the mall, you know, chilling like every freaking teenager here does. You know, we go to the mall, chillax, you know, hang out. You know, if you guys don't. Don't catch me at the mall i would be surprised because i'm freaking there like all the time so if you guys ever want to say hi to me i'm probably at the mall i think she was wondering if she could come up to me and say hi and stuff like that and then she, my cousin was just telling her like oh yeah like you can go up to her and say hi to her like she's really sweet she's really nice and she's like okay um and then she just like let her know that i was in the fitting room and so i come out and then my cousin's like oh like there's like a girl who wants to say hi to you and i was like oh who you know because like when i was looking i was like there's nobody like really here you know there are people in there but i was like i thought they would like be standing next to her i was like oh who like i don't know who you're talking about she's like oh like the girl over there and i was like oh okay and so the girl comes up to me and she's like hi and i was like hi and she was like explaining to me like the whole situation she took a video of me of me just saying hi to her friend and i was just like hi and then like like i tell like she was really nervous she was talking a lot and i was like okay like she's really nervous and i was like oh my god like i don't want her to be nervous and i didn't get to catch her name because we were like so fast to me yeah she was really sweet so we met like new people yesterday it was kind of cool to be honest uh, i don't think people know the origin story of me and elena first of all i've made so many online friends it's crazy right but not only have i made online friends but i've made a lot of online friends living in my own state so i've been able to like actually hang out with them like at first it was more like oh like you know like she's like she does social media and stuff you know and so like they're like really big like supporters of mine and then what ends up happening is we end up continuing to have a good relationship with one another and we just become friends like we li literally become friends that's literally how me and elena like became friends now like we're really like we're really close and like we hang out like at least like once a week always feel free to like say hi to me or message me online especially on instagram i do see your guys' dms a lot because i have started to recently go through my dms again you guys know like my whole situation with like weird men online so i always like try to ignore my dms just because people are so fucking weird now i'm just here like you know what that shouldn't taint the fact that people message me like come and support me and send me sweet messages you know what i mean like i shouldn't ignore the fact that you know like there are sweet people in the dms the, yes there are weird people but like you know, there are people who leave me really sweet messages so i was like you know what fuck that like why would i do that to myself and to my supporters so i was like okay whatever so i started going through my dms now and like i started like deleting and blocking weird people on there and then like, i started responding to like people who just randomly message me so i'm like yes like i get to finally really interact with people because this is something that i've always wanted to do like and i love when people ask questions about life like for real life you know yeah we can talk about social media all we want you know i don't want to talk about myself you know what i mean like i want to talk about you guys like what are you guys doing what are you guys up to and like i've noticed that you know a lot of the people my age or even younger or people who are even older they don't know what they want to do and set their life to and that's completely okay i'm tired of people pressuring people into having a career right away because it doesn't work like that when are people and parents gonna realize that it's just like we're not gonna know right out of high school sorry 
that's just life like we don't know like i don't think you guys knew i don't did you guys know you know like i don't think any of us did and like not that but when you get out of high school you have so much free time so you want to go and have fun so i don't expect you guys to know i would rather have you guys have fun and then while having fun you guys find something that maybe you guys really really like while you guys are on these like mini adventures in your life in this chapter of your life i'm talking really really fast my mom always tells me i talk way too fast but i'm like oh, whatever you're just not on the same frequency as me i can't <laughs> so i am going to cook some food because i'm hungry kind of hangry i'm gonna show you guys how i'm gonna be styling all the stuff that i got yesterday so yeah i'm really excited to show you guys and like bring some more fashion content into here because i feel like i've been trying to like really trying to plan some stuff out for like fashion content for some reason it's like not coming out of my body you know like it's just not like, not coming out i don't know why my style is changing a lot and i didn't notice that until yesterday where i was like i only like like these certain things like i don't like like all these trendy stuff like i really want to have stuff that is very statement and also still like essentials to me because girl if you live in the midwest like you know we dealing with four seasons like we don't just deal with summer and fall in the winter time it's so cold to the point where like i'd be seeing like all these people who like do like fall stuff and winter stuff and i'm here like especially when i see like winter stuff i'm like that's what you guys are wearing in the winter time i know the majority of them are probably from like california or texas or somewhere where it's really hot where it doesn't get really really cold like to the point where it's like negative 21 i'm from minnesota i'll show you guys how i'll dress in the winter time because it's literally not cute i literally need to be warm okay i need to put on a thick coat some gloves gotta make sure i got some fuzzy socks in my air forces gotta make sure i'm wearing a scarf you know like it is cold so i'm like i don't even see how any of this is realistic on to today's sponsor of the video. You guys know I've been working with them for a while now and that is HelloFresh. I just think that what they're doing is really good. You save like 30% off your groceries. It is convenient for people who are in college. It gets delivered to you. The majority of their packaging is all like eco-friendly and is like, you know, recyclable and everything like that. I love HelloFresh because it's just so convenient for so many people, including like my family where we are just so work dedicated. We don't have time to think about what we want to eat. And then just having HelloFresh send you some food that's pre-portioned and everything. It has all the ingredients that you need. It is so convenient. <laughs> they offer a variety of many meals i had these meatballs last time in my videos and let me tell you guys it was so good including the coconut rice like i've never had coconut rice before and i was like this is the best thing like i'm gonna make that again because i loved it it was so easy so i'm like I've been craving that recently. I'm pretty sure you guys already know how this goes, but make sure you guys click the link down below and go to www.hellofresh.com and use my code SHAR14 to save on 14 free meals and free shipping. Hi, mom. And then your mom popped up. Okay, wait, actually, for this portion, what do you want to eat today? Okay, so we have pork and pepper enchiladas. Ooh, that sounds good. We have this balsamic tomato and herb chicken, overly some garlic garlic spaghetti this looks delicious and then uh, white cheddar wonder burgers with old bay fries okay okay mom is choosing the burgers this is the oh okay french lady r.i.p mademoiselle so today we are choosing the white cheddar wonder burgers with old bay fries I yeah. our freezer is so cold like listen to this as i drop it like why is this so frozen
What's up guys? I'm going to be styling everything for you guys that I got. The HelloFresh burger was delicious. My camera ended up dying. Now we're going to be styling everything here. So I got this hoodie at the mall. I actually went to Forever 21, which I like never go to Forever 21, right? Just because like it usually doesn't have stuff that I like. So I just like ignore the store in general. Not only that, but it's always super duper messy and it just like fries my brain every single time I go in. It is fuzzy in the inside. All the way into the sleeves and everything and it is actually from their hot wheels collection it was on sale i just love the colors that they chose for the threading here and not only that but it just like i don't know something about it like even when i put it on maybe it's because like there's so much fur in it it makes it kind of look bulky and i like that look it was 30 bucks but i think this is actually something i'm gonna wear this winter it's also like my only like cream hoodie that i like have you know so i'm like oh my god like if i get it i will definitely wear it this winter it looks like this and i got a size medium i think yeah i got a size medium okay so i was thinking with this it is so flipping cute it's like this cream color it's not white i don't want to wear something white under it because then it makes it look dirty so this is not white i don't know why it's showing up super duper white inside of the camera yeah it's actually darker than the sweater here and i would just wear that under i've just been really into comfy but having some statement pieces still you know i have these really cute gym shorts right and they're like this cream color as well so i'm gonna put it on real quick for you guys and then we'll see where we stand so if we're talking shoes i have about four options here first off i have a pair of nmds they look like this they're actually a little bit darker but they still match the same tone that i'm going for so they look like this they could be better i also have these you guys seen me wear these before so these are my revenge storms yeah these are so flipping cute honestly these are so cute but i would not wear them with high socks I would wear these with just like low socks. And then I have these here. These are my CDG Converse's. They look like this. Oh, I don't remember the last time I wore these. These ones, these are so flipping cute. And then I have the shoes that I currently have on. They're dirty, they are, I'm so sorry guys. I would clean these and they would look so much better but they're so dirty. They look like this. They're cream and they have like a little bit of like a earth tone like green color in them. I have been wearing this specific bag and it's from Urban. It is like this little like cute tote bag thing. I don't know what you call this, but it has like a really cute strap. You can wear it like, you know, uh, like crossbody or you can adjust it and just turn it into like this little shoulder bag thing but i'm just gonna wear it as a shoulder bag because i kind of like that better with this fit okay and then we're talking jewelry i feel like right here is just so bare so i feel like this outfit here would look so good with some gold jewelry and some pearls i have this little vintage pearl bracelet that i bought at the vintage market so i paired this outfit with this necklace right here it is from luvisa and then i have this little chain here i pretty i'm pretty sure it's from paxson this is a michael kors adjustable bracelet i got it for my birthday one year oh my god i look so mini in here 
I'm not sure if you guys can see my feet, but I'm wearing the J's, the ones here. And yeah, this is the full fit. Okay, so this outfit is in the works. I think it's specifically missing some draping pearls on the actual shirt. Or like I've been seeing like these like things that you put over dresses that are like super cute and they're like basically just like strings of beads and stuff. This is what that outfit is missing. I do not have it and if I did, this outfit would be so freaking fire. But I'm wearing these earrings right here. I think these are from Boohoo. This pearl necklace and the same necklace from earlier, both from Luvisa. Still wearing the same like jewelry except for this hairband. Not cute though. It is so cute. I have these cute little strappy heels that I'm wearing. <laughs> brown pants right that i got they're wrangler jeans they're a waist 23 and a like 29 inseam and they literally fit me perfectly and i'm really glad that i got them because honestly i don't think i would have found such like perfect fitting jeans there's not like a gap in here or anything if it's really really good my hoo-ha is gonna be dying when i sit down though i would assume that i like would have so much stuff to pair with these pants but i don't like i just i don't know why i don't so that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel down below, especially if you guys want to see more fashion content. Yeah, if you guys want more fashion content, just let me know down below. Leave a comment which of the two outfits that I showed you guys is your favorite. And definitely check out my other videos if you guys haven't yet. And yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to say. Um, have a lovely day or a lovely night and know that you're loved. It's your world and I'm gonna touch wherever you want me to do